Good morning, everyone. Uh, so I'd like to continue with the remaining of the topics. It will not take much time now. So first of all is Millennium Development Goals. So before going into Millennium Development Goals, and the next topic uh, following it is Sustainable Development Goals, I'd like you all to know about certain factors, certain terms. First one is goal itself. Goals are whatever the aim is of the human and associated bodies. They are thought about some things to achieve in certain time, and that are called goals. Now for goals, you have to go on the progress, right? You have to process it. And so processing whatever the uh, things are to be taken into account, they are called as targets. And for achieving the target, what is the efficiency, what is the efficacy, what is the potency? Everything has to be measured and the measurement of it all lies in the term called indicators. All right. So there are three, these three terms which I think you have known now, so I'd like to continue with it. Millennium Development Goals. It is the goal of the past, you can say, because it was started all back, back in September 2000. All right. So we have reached the 21st century now. In September 2000, the presentations of 189 countries joined their hands to throw up this agreement, out of which 189 countries represented, so present, out of which 147 head of states from those representatives had signed this agreement. So you can predict the severity or the aim with which the disparity through which uh, this goal was adopted and was taken into action. Specific commitments were made in the areas of peace, security, and disarmament, development, and poverty eradication, protecting our common environment, human rights, democracy, and good governance, meeting the special needs of Africa, and strengthening the United Nations. Now, uh, what I'd like to explain here is the first topic, peace, security, and disarmament. Now, what I'd like to emphasize on this is, like in today's date, in 2021 still, there are countries fighting out there. And it is causing adverse peace. And it is causing an adverse effect on people living there, on innocent lives there. So these goals and targeting peace, security, and disarmament, this has been one of the things of concern from the days back. And still we can see it has not been to be progress. So there are issues still prevailing out there, which has to be focused. These are the goals, it was, this is, these are not in books, so I'd like you all to please emphasize on this. So we need to get extreme poverty, hunger, achieve universal primary education, gender equality, power women, all these are there in size, so you can go through this. What I'd like to really emphasize here is that these goals are not just health related. Let me be uh, sure with that. These are not just health related. These are a wholesome goals, which will make this world, this planet a better place to live. All right. But we as doctors, we as future doctors, sorry, we have to focus on the things which are really health related. So the health related issues are goal one. All right. Uh, eradicate extreme poverty and hunger because poverty is the root cause of all. If you're not having enough to eat, if you're not having enough to live, if you're not having enough sanitation or whatever things that are primary needs of people, you will fall into trap of diseases and nothing will stop you from that. And that will harm us, that will harm us as a humanity. All right. So another thing is goal five, improving mental mental health. Mother is fine, the world is fine. Nothing else to say. Goal six, combating HIV, AIDS, malaria, and other diseases. The diseases which are which have prevailed in this world for hundreds of years now. We have to really focus on eradicating them. Or if not eradicating, at least work to you know sustain, abstain it from uh, prevailing. Health-related factors and diseases. Three out of eight goals I already discussed. I have already told about uh, targets, indicators. Now MDCs work for eradicating poverty, illness out from the country. All right, it works for gender equality. So many factors that we were unaware that we are aware of. But uh, these all MDCs, Millennium Development Goals were only limited up to September of 2015. Last September of 2015, it was uh, out of the action, all right. Now from then, what happened was, so before that, let me talk about MDGs in Nepal, it is not in book, so please pay attention. So MDGs in Nepal is that UN, along with many other institutions such as UNICEF, UNPA, UN Women, UNB, they all work together for progress of uh, Millennium Development Goals in this country, right? 2010 to 2013 was the three-year plan that prevailed in our country. And, uh, for appreciating these MDGs or for uh, making people focus on really what MDGs aims for. Government of Nepal also including the achievement of MDGs as one of the project prioritization criteria and budget preservation process. So in case of the budgeting, the government leaders had to come out and show to the world that what we have done through MDG. And if we are unable, then we have to work on that as well. 
Next one is, and the last one for today is sustainable development goals. The sustainable development, we all are aware of what is the definition. Sustainable development means development for a longer duration, irrespective of time, but not harming the nature, not harming the things associated with it. Right. So, sustainable development goals in September 2015, UN General Assembly had adopted a new sustainable development agenda, transforming our world 2030. So, you can say million development goals existed. And to continue with it, a new technology came apart with sustainable development goals. Only the difference is that now the things are wider. Now the goals are wider. Now the vision is wider. And people of all, it is uh, insisted for all of us to focus on this and follow this. What are the basis for it? Economic, social, environmental. These three are the basis that make all of sustainable development. Economic, social, environmental. I've already talked about economic. Poverty is the root cause of all the diseases that people in the world. Social. Social acceptances, beliefs are still that prevail in many parts of the world, right? Where ill beliefs are still there due to religion, due to witchcrafts and so on. And environmental, I don't need to talk about that. Other are things based. Things based is now we, we the young generation, we are not just Nepalese. We are not just part of India, we are not just part of Nepal, we are part of this world. We are a global citizen also, we have to think according to that. We are not here to protect just Nepal. A country situated between India and China, we are ready to protect this green planet, the new planet, the world planet we stay And that is what we have to do, irrespective of caste, irrespective of culture, irrespective, irrespective of race. We have to be together, stand firm and fight against this. These are the goals, right? So goals, uh, more or less they are similar, but there are some things that are added here. And uh, the most fascinating to me was number 9 and 11. It is my personal thing, you know, my personal interest, it might not interest you, but Industry, innovation and infrastructure. Now the world is changing, the organization is taking place and according, according with that, we have to also look forward to industry, innovation and infrastructure. Now this thing might feel, you know, um, cutting the trees down will make a place for industry. This is not like that. It's a sustainable development program. So yeah, so people are thinking accordingly. They are thinking of places which are not viable, but still you can raise the most of it by thinking of plants that will have to protect nature as well. Sustainable cities and communities, this is the most fascinating out there. This might be the future of our world. Sustainable cities and communities. For this, not only government leaders might be responsible, but for all of us. We as citizens, we all are responsible for this. We'll be responsible for this and the, also the generations to come. Now, SDGs includes 13 targets. As I said, MDG, MDGs had a great vision. They came into action for 15 big years. And almost 50% of the world's poverty was declined under the action of MDG. So that is a huge uh, uh, achievement, but uh, still not 100% right. So SDGs work for that as well. And unfinished and expanded MDG targets, four targets to address non communicable diseases and four means of non implementation targets. To cover one major goal, one major goal that ensure healthy lives and promote well being for all and all ages. So for this long and huge whatever presentation we had, it's time to conclude it. And from this presentation, what I can conclude is that we have come a really long way, right? Medical, and we are fortunate enough to be a part of this huge and beautiful medical history. But don't you guys think that from an ill-mannered, uncivilized society where doctors were killed for not being able to uh, treat patients? To today, when doctors are being thrashed all over the country, history is sort of repeating itself. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> today is dark. Today is dark. Tomorrow might be darker. But that will not set me back. I will fight with whatever strength I have in my back. For the world, what it needs. Free, full of, free of greed and malice. I work for the world, mother. I will say. I don't, I don't care if the world has a moment after I have died, but the smile on my children's faces for generation and generation that will be enough for me. Thank you very much. That's all.